Hello YouTubers, coming at you with part two of the 95 Isuzu front end swap. And basically this is part two of taking a rodeo front end and putting it over on a pickup. Uh, and that really just consists of headlights, grill, bumper, uh, etc. And I made a few statements or comments in the first video that I need to correct as far as installation. Uh, and But I wanted you to get to look at it. Uh, we're, we're pleased with it. It turned out all right. Uh, and uh, I just thought I'd let you take a look. But anyway, I'll show you the corrections. First, I'm going to remove the grill, and then I'll go over what we're talking about. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm going to touch on this while I'm talking about, uh, first, I'm going to show you, you know, we're talking, about, we're talking about the reference point on the the headlight housing out of the rodeo, that's this plastic part behind, and this hole works perfect right here as a reference point. You stick it up there, put your bolt in, bring it up, even with a fender, tie it in, then you can bore you two more holes under here and put bolts in. Works great on this side. All right, on this side, it's got a hole, but it doesn't work. Uh, so what I suggest is coming over here tying into your fender first on this side then leveling it up measuring a little bit uh, and uh, coming off of your radiator support and then you bore your holes accordingly uh, it'd be the same way you'll have to bore all four of them over here um, this one I wish we had to change the radiator support we didn't we had a couple we just didn't we thought we could straighten it out and we did the best we could but we come up a little short in some areas it's got some gaps and some things uh so you can see the parking lot's just a little high here but uh anyway it's good enough the truck's got 214,000. he drives it to work each day uh so it doesn't have to be we're not trying to make a show truck just something nice and uh, save a little money but um uh, uh, I did some more research though, and I'll tell you, this makes sense, but all right, I have to give you a little history though. Uh, these trucks were made from this body style, uh, was made from 88 to 95. I think we've talked about that before, but uh, the early model trucks were made all in Japan and shipped here to the United States up till about 89 or 90, right in along 90 or 91, they were. They, they they had a joint venture in Indiana where they had a, a Subaru Suzu plant that they assembled uh, the rodeos there, and they did pickups also. So if your pickup has four S in the beginning of the, the VIN number, it was made in Indiana. If the beginning of your VIN number starts with JA, it was made in Japan. All right, and the reason I say that a Japanese trucks has this radiator support which is probably pretty much the same it's just going to have some different holes because all the rodeos were made in indiana none were made in japan uh if your truck is 4s you're going to have the radiator support that the rodeo had so your uh, headlights housings and everything should bolt straight up you you shouldn't have to bore any holes so it'll go a little easier for those guys with a 4s truck uh but Either way, you know, it's pretty much the same. There's a few differences. I mean, probably several. Uh, all in all, the trucks are the same. Just some minor things like uh, the Japanese trucks, or the ones that come to Japan, usually had the copper or the, uh, I guess you call it brass type radiator, whereas the Indiana trucks usually had the plastic and aluminum radiator. Uh, had a couple different type rear ends. Uh, a lot of the ones that come out of, um, Indiana had a Saginaw type rear end. Most of the Japanese truck had what was a banjo type. Geared the same, just made differently a little bit. And there's several differences I can't think of right at this point, but for the most part, they're going to be the same. Uh, and uh, that's all. I just wanted to clear that up so you wouldn't be looking for those holes and them not be there. And you, uh, but what we've done, we just you know this is all new. This came from the rodeo, the housing and the headlight, of course. Uh, we hadn't got it wired up. We're waiting on a wiring harness from Ron Francis Wiring. And uh, uh, 
I just happened to stumble on it online and they make a, a product. You go from a sealed beam to the 9004 or 9007 headlight and uh, waiting for them to get here and then we'll be ready. Um, but we just changed. We did order some aftermarket parking lights and signal lights. They're, they're uh, not the best quality. They don't have quite the fit and finish that the OE, OE parts do, but uh, you know, it's, it's general rule of thumb that you know you're not going to quite get the same quality. The bumper is the same way. It's, a, it's an aftermarket. Uh, works good though. It bolted up. Uh, it's just not quite as. I don't feel like it's quite as stout uh, as the factory. But I think it was 160 or 70 dollars for the bumper and balance and all. So good price. Come with the bumper arms and everything. Uh, it fits up there nice. Uh, everything seems pretty straight. But uh, um, and and I had mentioned also in the in the earlier video, your rodeos and pickups from the doors front, your parts are going to interchange now. That's your exterior parts. Now inside, it's um, a lot of it will in your early ro early rodeos will match with the truck up to 95 and a half. Even the interior parts are the same. In 95 and a half, they went to airbags in the in the rodeo, so they had to change the dash uh, in the trucks finished in 95 so they never had never had airbags um, so some of the interior parts could be different uh, but um, other than that um, I just wanted to clarify uh, on this installation um, about those those adjustments but it, it, all in all it shouldn't take you know it's not a very hard thing to do and it looks nice I, I think it's going to be it's going to look nice. We're probably going to put some LED bulbs in there and, and uh, so we'll have a lot of light. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps. And if you guys have any questions or comments, just just put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them if I can. I've uh, uh, been messing with these things a long time, so uh, I'll, I'll try to help you if I can. But anyway, I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.